So we'll start with y equals sine x. I've made up a table of values here. Okay, I picked some x values, 0, because x is our angle. So 0 radians, pi over 2 radians, pi radians, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi radians. And if we in our calculator put in 0 for x, we would see that the sine of 0 would give us 0. So if I plot this point, this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. Let's put a scale on here. Okay, so pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, those are, those are some angles. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. So 0, 0 is a point right there. When I put pi over 2 in, sine of pi over 2 is 1. When I put pi into the calculator, the sine of pi is 0. So this graph has come up to here and come down, back down to 0. I don't draw straight lines because this actually ends up being a nice smooth curve. 3 pi over 2, you'll find when you put that in the calculator, is minus 1. And 2 pi is back up at 0. So the graph of y equals sine x looks like this. And this keeps going, goes on forever. It'll go on forever down here. And it continues to do this sinusoidal wave going on forever. So the graph of y equals sine x, this is a graph we simply need to memorize. And so in your journal, you'll have the following. You will have a sketch of the graph y equals sine x for at least one, one period, one of these cycles. And then we need to find out what is the domain of this function. Well. Remember, this carries on forever. So the domain would be x is all real numbers. What about its range? Well, it doesn't go any higher than 1, and it doesn't go any lower than minus 1, but it appears to be every, all values in between. So from the graph, we can see that y is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to positive one. What is the maximum? Well, the maximum value is one. Maximum value is one. This graph doesn't get any higher than one. So the maximum is one when x equals what? Well, when x is pi over two. We can see when x is pi over two, we have a maximum value of 1. But this isn't the only place. Remember we said this carries on forever. So there'll be another maximum of 1 here, and there'll be another maximum of 1 way over there, and there'll be another maximum 1 off this side as well. So a good way that we can express all this is we can say the maximum value is 1 when x is pi over 2 plus any multiples, so plus n, times 2 pi. Because from here to here is a distance of 2 pi. It does one of these cycles every 2 pi, which is one complete circle, and then it continues with its cycle again. So what we're saying here is it's 1 at this value or any coterminal angle, any multiple of 2 pi. And similarly, its minimum value... Oops, Its minimum value will be minus 1 when x equals where? Right there, there's a minimum value. 3 pi over 2 plus any multiples of 2 pi. So make sure for all of these six graphs, I've shown you the sine graph now, you have a picture of what it looks like, and that you can draw that from memory. Don't rely on your graphing calculator. You need to be able to draw this curve from memory. And then once you've got the curve drawn, you can say what's the domain, what's the range, what's the maximum, 
when does that maximum occur, what's the minimum, when does that minimum occur, and we haven't talked about the uh, x-intercepts yet. What are the x-intercepts? Well, here's one right here. The x-intercept is zero. Is that the only one? No. They keep happening here. There's one at zero. Here's one at pi. Here's one at two pi. So following the pattern, there'll be one at three pi, four pi, five pi. So we seem to be adding pi each time to get an x-intercept. So we can say the x-intercepts occur at zero plus any multiple of pi. And the y-intercept, well clearly there is only one, the y-intercept is right there at zero. So when you, you will be finished this expectation when you can draw all, all six graphs and you can explain what the domain range maximum minimum values are and for what values of x those occur at and what the x-intercept is and what the y-intercept is. Let's do cosine. So looking at the graph of y equals cosine x, I can tell you that it is very similar to sine x except it starts here at 1 comes down to pi over 2, down here to minus 1 when x is pi, and back up to 1 when x is 2 pi. So it too is, is a sinusoidal graph that has these waves, but instead of sine which starts here and comes up, down and back up, this starts at 1, drops down, to minus 1 and comes back up to, to 1. So this is the graph of y equals cosine x. I'll leave it up to you to work out what the domain and the range is, the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the maximum and the minimum, and what values of x those are, occur at. But again, you should be able to draw this graph from memory and understand that this continues its wavy pattern to the left and to the right.